hopefully that should have done it. You never know. Hopefully it has. Oh yeah. <laughs> One of those days today. Good evening everyone. It's Mike here, Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To. That lovely young lady over there is Kath, who uh, I'll turn the webcam around in a minute so you can no. see her today. No. <laughs> She's done her hair especially for tonight's episode, so we'll be getting a sneak peek of her hair tonight. You know, I would walk out <laughs> in the room. She's not keen, I can tell. Anyway, hopefully your uh, your Saturday has been a, a good one and you're all staying well, healthy, enjoying yourselves, enjoying the um, unseasonably warm weather we're currently having at the moment. So as we are sort of edging ever closer and closer towards the kind of, the almost the end of this lockdown period that a lot of us are in at the moment, some places we're starting to see restrictions released and people are getting out and about and starting to see people. And uh, yeah. The world as we know it is slowly, slowly peering into view. And uh, hopefully for those of you that are with us and joining the channel, subscribers, viewers, etc., etc., hopefully you've all been uh, doing well over this time. Mental health hasn't been suffering too badly and you've been getting through it. And uh, hopefully, like me, you can possibly see that there is a little bit of light at the end of that long, long tunnel, which we seem to have been in for a long, long time. But anyway, that is enough of all that. It's far too uh, philosophical and political and medical for this time of night. It is Saturday and it is the 30th of May 2020. And who has been watching the NASA live stream tonight of the, uh, the Falcon rocket? How amazing is that to see the Americans putting men into space yet again to go to the ISS after all this time, after uh, all the kind of the previous bad stuff which has happened many many years ago but we're over that now we're on to a fresh new start elon musk has come through with those dragon rockets and the uh, the capsules and all that kind of stuff and he's doing a fantastic job and thankfully thank god or allah whoever thank the god of your choice thankfully they've uh, they've made it safe and sound off of the launch platform and are currently orbiting this big blue marble so best wishes to them and hopefully everything goes well for the docking and also obviously their subsequent re-entry in the coming weeks or maybe even months if they sit there a little bit longer. But anyway, that's enough of that. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. It was uh, it was pretty cool. I, I actually enjoyed watching it and I find the technology, these things when they uh, when the rockets come back down and they've managed to land on those platforms out in the middle of the sea, that is like weird. It is it's genuinely weird. I don't know how it works. It is insane. I don't get it, but hopefully <laughs> someone does and the technology is awesome and I love it. So let's get on. Anyway, so let's say some uh, some quick hellos to those of you that have joined us live in the chat and we've currently got 30 concurrent viewers. So to all of you that are with us tonight, thank you very much. And like I said, hopefully you're all doing well. Tonight we're gonna be, before I do the hellos, Tonight we're going to be talking about some uh, some pretty important stuff, the Windows 10 updates. Has it affected you? Let us know in the chat. I want to read your comments and see what's been going on. Personally, here at Mike's Unboxing HQ, we've had a few PCs which have done the Windows update. And at the moment, touch wood, looks absolutely fine. I haven't had any issues as of yet, but uh, no doubt later on this evening when I fire up a little bit of Rocket League for uh, relaxation purposes, Hopefully everything works well with the uh, the game input drivers and the mouse input drivers and all that kind of stuff, which is where the problems tend to be on some systems. But again, let us know in the comments what's been happening to you guys. Have you done your Windows 10 update yet? The 2004, which is an odd naming strategy because it's 2020, but you get the idea. It is the March release, sorry, April release for the year 2020, so 2004. You get it. But maybe you should call it 20... H1, because that is what it's kind of meant to be. But anyway, I'm digressing. Let us know in the comments how you're getting on with it, whether the Windows updates were for you. Have you experienced any problems? Have you been uh, slightly fearful from all the fear mongering which we've seen in, on YouTube and in the uh, the mainstream press? Or are you a little bit more kind of gung ho and quite happy to get in and try it and see what happens? And if anything goes wrong, then try to fix it like we all do. I want to know. So Skystalker has been in the stream, but quickly ducked in and ducked out and he's left us a super chat. So Skystalker, thanking you. He has uh, given us 13.99 in Canadian rupees. So thank you very much for that. And hopefully you're having a good time with your family this evening. Unfortunately, he cannot be with us due to family commitments, but family is more important than me, that's for damn sure. 
So hopefully you're having a good time and uh, keep him well. We've got Angry Doge is always uh, in pretty darn early. Mills Monster, Jay's Games, half the tree. And says, I'm getting a new PC soon. Getting a licensed key would be amazing. Jay's Games also says, I would love a free key. Now that is the beauty of Mike's Unboxing. We are the channel that just likes to give. And tonight in the stream, at various points in the stream, we're not going to leave it all to the end. We're not going to do it all at the beginning. We're going to do it dotted out to try and space things out. So we'll be randomly selecting a winner from our Facebook page. So if you haven't already, head on over to the Facebook, type in Mike's Unboxing, join the group, or just like the page, or do whatever you want to do. Do all that Facebook nonsense. I don't really care. But it's just a way of getting our programs to work. So go to the Facebook page. There is a post for tonight's stream, and it says about winning a life ski. Caps put it in the chat. So nice and easy to click on. So go in there. Leave a nice comment. Leave something nice, something positive. Let's have something positive on this lovely, lovely summery Saturday evening. Spacey summery evening. Nice one, like that. So leave a comment and later on we'll be going through. We'll do a random check. Not a random check. What's the program we use, Calf? Can you remember what it's called? It's just random comment picker, isn't it? I don't know. It's called something like that. So we'll use random comment picker and we'll go through and it'll randomly pluck a name and we will then give that person a Windows 10 license key. So that can be either for Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Professional, or maybe if you want something else from premiumcdkeys.com, then maybe we can wangle that if it's a similar sort of price. But anyway, so if you don't want a key, we'll sort something else out for you, give you a gift voucher for the site. So if you, maybe you want to get Office 2020 or Office 2019 or whatever it is these days, I don't even know, what is it? Office 365, whatever it is. If it's on their site, I'll give you the basically the voucher so you can go in there and spend whatever you want to spend. Sound good? Good, like it. Right, so get involved, go to Facebook, all that kind of stuff. I'll do some pop quiz type stuff as well, a little bit later maybe as well, for those of you who aren't on Facebook. So we'll just ask some stupid question and whoever gets the question right, you get a key. I can smell burning. Can you smell burning? Something's definitely burning. Is it my laptop? That'd be not good. Is it your head? It might be my head, yeah. It's been quite warm today. It's been very warm. And as you can see, is my head burning? I can't see. I've, I've not had a look yet, so if I put my head down in the camera, I should be able to see. I don't know. Oh, no. It's not burnt, but it's pretty darn shiny. I have to get that sort out. <laughs> anyway, Steve Johnson's in actually says, uh, commented, liked, and shared. Good job. Fingers crossed. Likewise. Uh, he says, Steve Johnson, Mike, are you here? Can I ask a question yet? No, not yet. <laughs> Save him to later. That was before you were there. Uh, that was a long, long time ago. You can ask it on Discord. Someone will be on there. One of our experts are very helpful and useful experts. will possibly answer your question, or if not, just give you a torrent of abuse. That is what we do. So feel free to ask over there. Uh, Dave Burns says, type Discord. Dave Burns, blah, 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 blah. Charles UK says, anyone else watched the NASA launch? Hell yes. We enjoyed that a lot. Charles UK, Aletta's in the house and she says, hello, people of Earth. Hello, people of Ohio. Uh, who else we got? Charles, angry with those who said that already. Aletta, everyone's been really... Uh, Really positive in the comments tonight. So Dave Birds is Ake a Shadow. Ikea Shadow? Ikea Shadow. I don't know. However you pronounce that. Mark MC says hi everybody. British Noob says hello Dave. Hello Dave. <laughs> Matthew Day's doing pizza. Oh pizza. I could murder some pizza, yeah. Dave Burns says I'm at dinner yet. I'm at dinner yet either. I've had something, but I don't know. I can't remember I what it was. Intel chips, nice. AKA really. <laughs> Lynn's in the house, Hawkins Dog's in the house, Supernova Wolf's in the house, Scott Secor, A Train So Cool says hi, and WM18 Gaming says even Knee Rasher, hi all. Wow, there's a lot of you in there. Scott says I'd love a new key for my Ryzen build. Now, actually, that's something I mean to discuss with you guys as well, um, with the live stream viewers and the patrons who very very graciously help support Mike's unboxing and our endeavors what do you want to see next i'm seriously considering doing an intel build with a b460 and maybe a 10 400 or maybe a 10 600 but do i wait and go b550 and like a 3300x i'm kind of interested to know what you guys 
or interesting? What would you prefer to see? Or would you prefer to see both? Do you want to see me get myself into financial ruin and buy both setups and test them against each other? Although, saying that, is it worth it? Because there's so many other channels that have done it already. But what is a new and interesting take on the whole thing? Are you pro Intel? Are you pro AMD? Do you think Intel have lost their way? I really want to try an Intel CPU system. I haven't had one in a long, long time. And there hasn't been much in the mainstream media which has made me want to go, yeah, that's a great idea. So let me know, what do you think? I want to, I want to really hear your comments. Dave Burns says, hi Mike, nice skin color. What part of Morocco are you from? Deepest, darkest Morocco. That is where I am currently from. Nigel Thomas says, hi guys. Dennis J says, hi. So I just read then someone said about lightning being hit somewhere and blowing up something. But I've scrolled past it now, so it's gone. But the goldfish brain, it's all gone. Ricardo's in the house and he says, uh, hi Mike and Kath, hope you're doing okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. We're slightly warm, we're slightly sunburned. But other than that, yeah, we're not doing too bad at all. Although putting on a few pounds, which is uh, a bit worrying. I blame it on the summertime and drinking more, so it's more, to, it's more water retention. That was very difficult to say or potentially it could be because of these bad boys. And speaking of which, I'm gonna open one now if you don't mind, if, if that's okay with you guys. Do you mind if I have a, have a drink tonight? Is that okay? I just thought I'd ask. And feel free to join me if you wanna have a beer at the same time. Please do, let's have a beer, let's have a drink, let's celebrate the end of May, which has been a weird, weird month. And let's celebrate looking forward to new processors, new motherboards and... Carlsberg. Carlsberg. <laughs> sponsored by, no I'm not sponsored, joking. Mm -mm -mm. Now that right there is perfection. Nice cold Carlsberg and a super chat at the same time. Life is good right now. And that is from uh, Gary, is that an I? Say, Satka. Is it Satka? I'm not sure. I don't understand what it says, but Gary, thank you very much. We do appreciate your $10 donation. And of course, when you get a donation, the RGB light comes on, you get a little bit of a disco ball. Calf has to get up, turn the other light off so that you guys can see it. So it's a little bit of exercise for Calf and it's uh, good for us and hopefully somewhere near our new AMD or new Intel build. So where was he in the comments? Yeah, that was good, cool. Charles UK says, I think Intel 8 series are due to launch soon. This is very true. We the B series has been announced and we've seen some stuff from MSI. They did a stream, um, I think it was possibly Friday, and they showed off the range of their boards. Uh, that was the AMD one actually. What was the, I'm confused now. I've seen too many product launches recently, it's confusing me. But anyway, there's plenty of stuff coming and I can see what's gonna happen very, very soon. This whole wall is just gonna be covered with motherboard boxes. And that is another super chat come in. So that is from David Aitken. Thank you, David. Appreciate it. And he's there. Hot, so we have to dunk ourselves into the water. Bye. It's good fun. Michael's going. Bye, Michael. Bye. And as per usual, my stream feed has died. Oh no, it's come back. Here we are. We're still, we're still there. Oh no, it's gone. There's something about this position in the house where just things don't work properly. I don't know if I've come too close to the lights. There's electromagnetic radiation. Maybe I should get myself one of those uh, 5C pendants. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to say the word because as soon as you say the word, YouTube start looking down over their glasses at you and they're like, hmm, let's listen to this little man and see what he's saying. And then you get demonetized and all that kind of crap. Also, if you swear, you get that as well. But anyway, <laughs> thank you very much, uh, Mr. Aitken. Do appreciate it. Uh, Captain Mies Adventures says, a very valid point. Drinking beer protects you from human malware. Patent pending. <laughs> I don't think that's actually real. So don't take us on the uh, on that particular medical advice from Mr. Meat. But yeah, it probably helps a little bit with something. I remember back in the day, they used to say that drinking one or two units of alcohol a week would help reduce the chances of heart attack. So everyone went out and bought loads of wine. Hey ho. 
Uh, Xbox Gamer says, I'm drinking Carlsberg. It's okay and it's cheap. Hey, this is what Mike's Unboxing is all about. You guys, if anything, should know this already. That we do things on the kind of cost-effective scale. I'm not going to be drinking Tesco's own brand because that just tastes like crap. But Carlsberg tastes good. It's a reasonably good percentage, 4%, which is fine for a... Um, I nearly said a drive-in beer, but we shouldn't drink a drive. That is very bad. Very naughty, Michael. Do not do that. But you know what I mean. It's nice. It's nice. Nice, fresh and refreshing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Good stuff. Uh, Matthew Taylor is in the house, and he says, Thanks, Mike. You saved me 50% off with the iMu Look camera. Cheers. Well, cheers to you. Um, that's a, it's been one of those things, I think, because people have been stuck indoors and kind of, mm, what shall I do? Obviously, people have been spending an absolute shed ton of money on Amazon recently. And for those of you who have been using our Amazon affiliate code, thank you so much. It really does help. All it takes is a quick click. You don't have to buy what is actually on the link. As long as you've actually clicked on the link and you're kind of, you're in that affiliate mode, Anything you buy on Amazon, it doesn't cost you any more. It's anonymous. Completely anonymous, so I don't know if you've been buying blow up PVC companions or whatever it is. Don't care, doesn't relate to you, any of that stuff. But we do get a little kickback from Amazon, which really does help for us when we're deciding what things to build and how to entertain you in the coming days, weeks, and months. If me drinking cheap lager wasn't enough for you. Yeah, buy yourself. I could buy myself a PP, P, 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 P. I could buy myself a PVC companion, and have it sat here. Oh yeah. Put a little blonde wig on it, and make it look a bit like you, and yeah. then just have it sat there and say, oh, "Calf, what do you think?" She's like, "Okay, I like that idea. That's a good one." <laughs> Maybe we could do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Definitely a thing to do. Supernova Wolf says, "I had a non-alcoholic." Uh, Ar Arabic beverage called Barbican because I don't drink. I'm 13. Fair dues. Uh, Supernova Wolf says anyone else's stream glitching? I don't know. It might well be us. It possibly could be. There's been weird things going on. We've had all kinds of weird stuff going on in Bristol recently. Uh, we've had water mains exploding. We've had uh, BT internet outages. All sorts of weird stuff. I think it's because it's been super hot, super dry, and kind of the ground is swelling or cracking or moving or whatever. And it's just wrecking stuff. And because we've got all these kind of old-fashioned copper wires and big copper pipes in the roads, it's, yeah, it's all falling apart. It's like living in somewhere not very advanced. It really is. Like the UK. Yeah, the UK. Uh, Vgang Wheels, Pete says, my son is loving the F15 M case. Thanks for the review, Mike. You're very welcome. I genuinely, 100%, I love that case. I really do. It's cheap. It does what it's supposed to do. It's got the fan control. Yeah, not as cheap as it was. They did put jack the price up a little bit, but oddly the glass version, which was kind of potentially, I would say, maybe a little bit nicer looking, um, with similar airflow, actually went down in price. So that's an absolute bargain. The only thing that I do worry about with the Game Max cases is the whole fan controller side of it on the remote control. Because it's really hard to know whether it's actually in fan control mode or whether it's in motherboard mode or what mode it's in. So top tip, if you're not sure and you're trying to set your fans up on any of these um, cases that come with built-in controllers, is to go into your motherboard's BIOS and set all your fans, apart from your CPU fan, all your case fans that you're going to plug in with your controller, set them all to voltage mode and jack them down to the lowest possible setting, so 0, 30%, whatever it is. And then when you press the button, the fans will stop spinning because they're in low voltage mode from the motherboard. So that's a really, really easy way of knowing which, bu which button is motherboard mode or uh, PWM mode or whatever. There you go, top tip, you get that one for free. Insomniac XX says, when does the free key start? I'm ready for the quizzes. I've got to be honest with you, I've got to try and think of questions at the same time as doing a stream and drinking beer. So this probably isn't going to go well. Supernova Wolf says, uh, I'm in the UK right now, but originally from Baghdad in Iraq. Nice. Booty Earn says, a blow-up calf. That would, what could possibly go wrong? Less than if it is 
<laughs> yeah, it would. Oh, I shouldn't say that. That's unkind. Uh, Austin Youngman says, "Wandered my way here from your B450M video. Very helpful. Oh, thank you. That's cool. Thank you." Steam Butler says, "The F15 price went up due to your review. I don't think it was due to my review. I think it. Well, it'd be nice to think it was, but it's, I don't think it is at all. But you never know. <laughs> it would be interesting to see if it was the, if it was that." And it looks like a certain someone has... Who's that? That is... Oh, my uh, my stream is glitching a little bit, I think. Sky Stalker! Evening, buddy. How are you doing? And come in with a super chat. 2 79 in Canadian dollars. Just checking in on the stream. Sky, we've mentioned you many times, especially at the start of the stream, so when you're watching it back, this stream is pretty much uh, sponsored by you tonight. Thanks, buddy. Hope you're having a good time. Uh, MW18 Gaming says, will you do a review of AMD Link? Mm, maybe. That's something I've not looked at, actually. I might be uh, interested. Um, I've missed our... Captain Music Avengers says, Mike, are you going to unbox and review PC, uh, PVC Friends? We did, many, many moons ago, we did a stream where I got very, very drunk. Calf got very drunk. And normally Kath reigns me in when I'm doing stupid stuff, but she was actually goading me on and laughing her ass off. <laughs> and I ended up, we were talking about doing benchmarking of um, love dolls, and it got really, really out of hand. It got so out of hand, in fact, <laughs> that I ended up having to actually delete the stream after. So if you're looking for it on the back catalogue, you won't find it, because it was literally got so bad. I don't even know how I managed to keep the channel going, because it was like, wow, am I actually saying these things? And for anyone that was in the stream that night who was here now, yeah, you'll probably know I was an absolute mess. It was good fun, though. So, Buntu Dreads drinking some cold northern brown ale. Ooh, nice. Ricardo says, I had to roll back my Win 10 1909 after the Xbox wireless receiver screwed up. Uh, the receiver screw worked fine anyway. I uh, sent the info to MS to see if they can do something. Okay, that's an interesting one. I missed. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Toxic Summer says, Mike, as a PC enthusiast, what do you see, uh, what do you see jobs in the PC market one could get with a degree of either computer science or electrical engineering? <sighs> oh, blimey. That is a difficult one. Um, generally, what most people will tell you in the industry is whatever you're training for now that job won't exist because there'll be a new job so basically the jobs that will exist by the time you finish your training won't be the jobs that are available now does that make any sense at all am i talking gibberish possibly so essentially getting any one of the qualifications now or learning anything now if it's a two to five year course or whatever by the time you get to the end of the course the job will be a different job, so you'll need to learn something else when you start that job. So basically, qualifications are just a way of an employer of kind of weeding you out from other people without the qualification, but the qualification won't necessarily help you with the job you're doing. Does that make sense? Maybe it does. It's like learning Windows 7, and then when you get to the end of learning Windows 7, they brought out Windows 10. So it's kind of based around the same stuff, but different. It's that kind of principle. So I wouldn't really... Ed, as far as education goes, I'm probably the last person to ask because my education was patchy as hell, if anything. But if there's something that interests you and it needs a specific qualification to get into that field anyway, then that's what you should definitely follow. But jobs change so quickly in the computer industry. Very much so. Uh, Stefan waved. Hi, Stefan. Half the tree says, how do I enter? Uh, links are in the comments section. So if you scroll up or down or wherever it is. I've just put one in again. Oh, Calf's just put it again underneath, so it's all good. Uh, Matthew Day says, I watched Brightex don't update to 20.04 now. Uh, I think I'll hold off for a while. Now, actually, it's, um, that is a, an interesting one, because I actually watched the video myself and took in the information. Conversely, I also watched videos from other YouTubers as well, who were kind of going on the other side of the fence. So, like with most things in life, it's a really good idea 
to see both sides of an argument and then look at it, make your own balanced decision. So don't take anyone's word for anything, look into it, make your own mind up. That is the way I've always been and that's what I recommend for anyone else to do. When they ask me what my opinion is on something or left, right, whatever it may be, doesn't matter. Look at both sides and then make your decision. Now with the Windows update, if you've got a PC which isn't particularly mission critical, and if you are relatively knowledgeable in tinkering with PCs, then I don't see any reason why you shouldn't give the new Windows update a shot. Personally, as I was getting onto earlier, I think, before I went completely off topic, uh, my main video editing PC over there, I did actually pull the trigger, and I thought, well, it's an Asus X570 Tough Gaming, it's a Ryzen 35, uh, sorry, 3600, and with 32 gigs of RAM, it's an NVIDIA graphics card, so it's kind of got most of those trigger points which could potentially be an issue. So it's moderately modern equipment, and it's got the NVIDIA graphics card, and NVIDIA graphics cards are one of the key things which actually make this Windows update fail for some people. And Touchwood did the update, ran it, and it was a bit of a slow reboot process when it went through, but which I was a little bit worried about, and I posted some pictures on Discord, but actually after a while it came back up and it was absolutely fine, and Touchwood, it's been absolutely flawless, and actually, I don't know if it's just a, a placebo effect, but to me, it seems that Chrome and Edge are definitely faster. Don't know if it's just an update that's happened to Chromium-based engines, or whether it is actually part of the update, but it definitely does seem a little bit snappier in operation. So, personally, I would say, look at the hardware you've got on your system to see if you've got hardware which is on that kind of problematic list. If you've got a modem or sound card from Connexent, um, or a part of Synaptics, I believe that is now. You may not be able to do the update anyway. Uh, there is a problem with that. If you're using a Realtek Wi-Fi or Realtek Bluetooth adapter, again, you may not be able to do the update because that is another one of those problem areas. Also, if you've got a laptop with NVIDIA built-in graphics and you're using slightly older manufacturer's drivers, you will need to update your drivers to the latest version of the NVIDIA drivers before you do the update, otherwise it will stall. Now, if you're one of those people who's got an NVIDIA graphics card driver, sorry, graphics card in your laptop, and the manufacturer hasn't released a new version of the driver to allow this update, you can potentially try using the one from NVIDIA's website, but generally I would recommend not using the drivers from either AMD or NVIDIA directly for laptop GPUs, because they're generally made slightly differently. They're not always the reference specs. So it's always best to get the drivers for those kind of GPUs directly from your manufacturer. So you may find that your manufacturer, there might be a slight lag for them to update the drivers to allow you to do this new Windows 10 update. So the best you can do really is uh, keep watching and see what happens on that regard. Also, um, most of the trigger of things which cause blue screens of death or issues with this update actually will kind of be into Windows now. So it won't allow you to do the update, the update will be deferred from you. So if it comes up saying the update is available, then generally it's okay to click on update now. If you click on update and there's nothing available, that means your system has been safeguarded from the update and it is advisable not to do it, either by the Windows creation tool, making a new ISO or whatever it is. A fresh install of Windows at this present time is not a good idea with the latest version if you've got one of those systems which may have some of those components in it. So, Hopefully that gives you some idea of what is going on and what you can do to actually prevent it. So update your graphics card drivers if you're on NVIDIA for sure. If you've got a Realtek Wi-Fi card or a Realtek um, Bluetooth chip, which I have in this particular laptop, you won't be allowed to do the update. It won't let you do it. Simple as that. Um, I have actually tried on this laptop. This is the Acer Aspire A515-43 Ryzen 5 3500U processor built in Vega 8 graphics. So graphics-wise, it's fine. Processor, it's wine. It's wine. It's fine. But the uh, the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi on this is a Realtek chipset. So unfortunately, I am unable at current to do that particular update. So yeah, that is. Um, I think that is uh, pretty much where we're at with the update. So yeah, literally, if you want to do it, if the update says it's available for you, there's a very strong chance that it's going to work is what I'm really trying to say. If you want to defer it, if it's a mission critical PC or it's the only PC you've got or you're scared crapless that if your PC goes down you don't have the knowledge or the resources to repair it yourself, then sure, give it a miss for now. 
but yeah, I wouldn't, um, I don't think I'd be going around screaming and warning everyone and saying, oh, don't do it, don't do it. It's terrible, it's awful. Because for me, actually, it's been absolutely fine and it has seemed to improve performance. But again, every case is different. Your mileage may definitely vary. All right, Calf. Calf says yes. Okay. Uh, ben Shields says, is there um, anything new in the Windows 10 update? Most of it is built around the, um, the memory management. Memory management is much better now. So it releases memory a lot better when programs go into kind of standby mode or they're not in your prominent window. So that is really useful. Most of it seems to be under the hood stuff. There is some other stuff in Microsoft Edge, which is improved. The search engine's improved. Cortana allegedly is improved. Although, yeah, I've not tried that. Although I think the fix or the kind of program or the whatever it was I did the other day, I can't remember. Whatever I did, disable, disable Cortana. I think we're going to need to do that again with the update. So I think the update overwrites that key. So we might have to have a look at that and do a, possibly an update video on that. Hmm. Uh, Bunsy's Red says, I always give it a month before, but a big Windows update, it's time to work out the bugs. Definitely, if, you, uh, if, you're, if you're in a position where you don't want to have to reboot a PC or reset a PC or whatever, for whatever reason it is, yeah, let it wait, wait until the bugs are ironed out. There is, I did notice almost immediately after the update, there was a new update to the uh, .NET 3.5, 3.7, 3.8. So obviously there's some sort of issues with that as well. So I still need, I haven't done that yet. Actually, that's still waiting to go. So maybe that's going to kill the PC. Who knows? Maybe. Um, Mr. Titus, I'm not going to say the first name because I'm going to get that wrong, I think. So I'm not even going to attempt it. He says, hey Mike, can you help me? I've got a malware on Chrome, which keeps on redirecting me to a website called the best offers in the world. And Chrome shows that it's being managed by your organization. Uh, yeah, there is actually a video on our channel on how to remove that managed by your organization. It will work in it pretty much the same way because most of those add-ons work in the same way. So essentially, go to somewhere like um, Malwarebytes, download the scanner, run the scanner, see what actually flags on your machine, and then just do a reset of Chrome. Sure. And generally, you should be okay. Cap's going to put a link in the description in the comments now so you can follow that link and have a look at that. Uh, where are we? Uh, Aletta said very similar, reflecting my views at the moment, um, saying I didn't have any problems with the new Windows update, which is good to hear. And Aletta has got some pretty killer cutting edge equipment, so it just goes to show that the latest and greatest, hopefully, should be absolutely fine. Uh, Gary. Gary Haig says, I thought I'd stop by, Lager in hand. Good on you. Mm. I nearly spat it out. <laughs> um, Cap, tree, they said, um, Super Wolf, Super Mover Wolf said, he could put a message on the post saying this is a message representing half the tree, but it wouldn't work, would it? Um, there's no duplicate users. Yeah, duplicate users probably wouldn't work. I don't know, you could try it. No, it was to say there's no duplicate. I'd yeah, it would just take one name, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. it'd be one thing. That's why people put multiple games, don't they? Um, Swipe says I have a A320 Ryzen 3 3200G GTX 1050, 12 gig of RAM, should I update? Um, if you've got the GTX 1050, just make sure you're on the latest NVIDIA driver. I think it's versions anything older than 358, I think is the first part of the driver edition. So if you've updated within the last 400 series, when did they start? About a year ago. So as long as you've recently installed the system, basically, or you've got a relatively new install of the GeForce experience, I would, I would go and download the NVIDIA drivers first, get the latest version of that first before you do the update. In theory, you should be fine. Depending on the motherboard and whether it's got any uh, Wi-Fi sticks and stuff like that. But if if there's potentially going to be any problem, when you go to Windows Update, it won't let you download it anyway. It'll prevent you from downloading it to stop it from causing issues. It's called a compatibility pools or something. I think they call it as a technical name for it. 
but it basically means your system will be pretty much shielded if there's going to be any potential problems. Uh, number one, B for me, it says good day. Good day. Xbox Gamer says, I have the exact same wallpaper as you, but in blue, in my games room. I think the white looks great. Well, thank Caf. Caf chose it. I just put it up on the wall. With a little bit of help from you. Did you do it or did I do it? I can't remember. Yeah, I did a bit. I like wallpaper and I generally do. If anybody wants wants our wallpaper done in their house, let me know. It's not first attempt. When, when, when the COVID's over, I'll come around and I'll wallpaper your stuff. I don't care. I'm all good with that. Uh, Matthew Day says he's got Realtek, GBE and Broadcom Bluetooth. Um, you'd probably be all right. I don't think the Ethernet stack is uh, a problem with the gigabit with the real tech. I think it's purely the Wi-Fi stack and the Bluetooth stack, so you should be alright. Uh, Nugen, I always get it wrong. I think Nugen <laughs> says uh, Windows Update Service keeps disable itself every time I boot up my PC. What's up with that? That is very strange. AK Liam says, I've got the GTX 970, looking to upgrade soon. Budget's £200. Any suggestions what card I should upgrade to? Um, at the moment, for £200 on UK Hot Deals, you can get a Gigabyte 1660 Super for £199, I believe it is, which actually seems to be a pretty decent offer. GTX 1660 Super, 6 gigs, Gigabyte, so maybe you like Gigabyte, maybe you don't, I don't know. But... Seems to be a pretty decent price. Around about the £200 mark, it's one of those things where if you spend a little bit more, there's always going to be that incremental jump. So around about the 230 mark, you can probably pick up, what, a 5600, 5600 XT. Uh, and then you go to about 270, and you're looking at the 5700. Just over the 3 mark, you're looking at the uh, XT version. There's so many choices out there. And then obviously, then you've got Nvidia Land to consider as well. It's crazy. Yeah, the Palette 2070 Super, um, if it was in our location, it wouldn't be £200. That is for sure. It would be closer to £400. You'd be lucky to get a 1070 used now for £200 in this, uh, in this market, which is pretty scary. Private Hudson's in the house. ClickTech's in the house. ClickTech's been in the house, right? I did see it earlier, but I forgot to mention him. Hiya. ClickTech says, I saw one of your videos pre-wallpaper the other day. It was weird. I think you'll find most of the videos are weird. It's just the wallpaper adds that, to the weirdness. Is that wallpaper or just you? Yeah. <laughs> what was it? Is it a different t-shirt? We did actually quite a lot of videos pre-wallpaper. I think it was probably a good Shooting couple of hundred. Yeah, so we've done at least almost two years worth, I think, without the wallpaper. year and a half, maybe? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, we had those horrible green painted walls where it's sort of like greeny white off green and actually one of the walls in this room is still that color because truthfully i can't be arsed to paint it because the camera never sees it anyway and that bit up there oh yeah and that bit over there in the old cove uh swipe says the rx 590 is amazing not good because you love the paper in so much you only do the bit that shakes on camera <laughs> yeah gary haig says uh pronounce my surname correctly as well 10 out of 10. No problem. It's nice to do something properly. It's rare that I do it, but awesome. Uh, Steve Darby says, Hi Mike, just moved over uh, to AMD from Intel. My Ryzen 7 3700 only boosts to 4392, 4392 MHz on one core, not 4.4 running the Gigabyte or Elite. F12F BIOS, is that normal? Yeah, generally the 4.4 gigahertz, they normally tend to round it up. I think my chip is supposed to do like 4.2 and it does like 4.197 or something or 4.192. So yeah, I wouldn't be um, too concerned about that. Generally, it's within the kind of Nat's whisker of what it should be. Supernova Wolf says, I'm just gonna say, I would love to see Mike's channel grow, but wow, it is really nice having a small chill chat without 600 messages per second <laughs> yeah i uh, i do get that as well i do i feel slightly sorry for larger channels where there's just like this constant stream of chat and then all they ever answer is like the super chats which kind of they miss out on 
all the kind of little nuances in the chat. Nuances, that's a big word. That's maybe not a very nice thing. A nuance. A nuance is a good thing. I know, but it doesn't sound very good. Uh, Alessa says, I only paid $420 for 20 blazing for my 5700 XT. It's been a good card thus far. Go do your inhalation. <laughs> <laughs> AK Liam says, cheers, Mike. Cheers, drive. That is a well-known phrase in Bristol. <laughs> oh, dear. Matthew Bennett says, I'm good. Thanks, Kath. Had an afternoon of building my ITX gaming PC. Now, actually, that's another thing I've been looking at this day, this, day, this week. God almighty. It's too warm in here. It's, it's making my, uh, my spleen ache. It really is. I was looking this week at the ASRock, the A320 based uh, Desk Mini 300 series. I'm really, really tempted. I am genuinely really tempted. I've got a little AM1 system in the front room, which is used on the TV in there. It doesn't really get used. So I'm really looking at that ASRock Desk Mini system and putting one of the new AMD chips on it, but I don't want to buy it quite yet in case the 4000 series chips won't run on that board because it's an A320 and whether or not Asus, uh, sorry, ASRock haven't done many updates to that particular board, boss wise since December of last year. So I'm a little bit concerned that it may not support the newer chips, <coughs> excuse me, or whether or not they're going to be doing a new version of it, which is kind of like a A520 or A420 chipset, something along those lines, which will then support the newer chips. So I'm tempted. It's come down to about 120, 130 pounds here in the UK. So that's the motherboard, the case power supply so all I need to do is add RAM which I'm going to take out of the laptop because I'm going to be upgrading the laptop soon and then all I need really is a processor and a hard drive of some sort hard drive I've got sorted I've got myself a TC Sunbow drive ready to go in there so then it's down to the processor and hopefully if the new processors come out towards the end of well what we've got roughly 30 days until we start seeing a new host of processors very exciting can't wait but I really don't know what to do do I wait I'm very, very hesitant. I don't like wasting money. You guys know that. I don't like wasting money. That is the way I roll. So I don't want to just buy it and then it turn around and say, oh, by the way, there's a new version coming out in three weeks' time, because that would suck immensely. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see what happens. There's so many options around at the moment. There are so many things that I want to get, and we're, we're on that kind of, we're going up the hill, and we're about to get all those releases, and it's like we're going to go... <laughs> For me, the B550 product launches from MSI, no disrespect to MSI whatsoever, but i got to be honest with you, I was bummed, severely bummed, and not in a good way. It was, it was pretty much what I wanted to not happen. All the B4, B550 boards came out, and they all seemed massively overpriced. The only one that's kind of even remotely made sense was the B550-A Pro, which is their kind of entry-level board, and even that at £130, or estimated £130, seems to me taking, excuse my French, taking the piss out of the B450 kind of product life cycle. So B350 was cheap, B450 was cheap, B550, you're going to have to sell a lung, a kidney, a child, something like that. It's just insane. Why are they so much more expensive? If they were £70 to £80, I could get on board with that because it's new technology, you expect that little price hike. Even if it's between the 80 and 100 pounds mark, I'd be thinking, mm, we're in kind of tomahawk range now for the B450, but it's new, it's shiny, so maybe we can take a punt on that. It does have better power phases in some models, so there is that to it. But motherboards become so damn expensive, it's ridiculous. Especially when you can go on to Amazon at the moment, which I frequently do, and you can still see B450 Micro ATX boards for around about £50, which will offer you pretty much, give or take, within about 2 to 5% performance, it will give you exactly the same as a B550 for what is three times the price at £140, £150. It just seems crazy. It just seems absolutely mental. And it, it's actually putting me off buying new kit. It really does. And I don't know, do any of you guys in the chat feel the same way? Supernova Wolf says, there's no one here likes wasting money. That's why we're here trying to get that license key. All right, let's do that now. Let's do a quick license key. So if you haven't done it already, 
go onto the Facebook page and quickly do it. Calf, fire up the comment picker of I doom. Paste it again. Paste it? I got it. Nah, just do it. If they haven't done it by now, it's their tough. What? So it's, it's in the description. It's in the description. You guys have a chance, you'll have other chances. We'll give away a few keys anyway. Just that creature says, I'm quite late, but you haven't missed anything, to be honest with you. It's been pretty dang nil. <laughs> Dawkins Dog, Mike, any tips on next week's lottery numbers? Oh, it's gone. Scroll past. I do apologise. I need to replace a 32-bit Win7 system that's trying to drive me mental, but I have no money. Um, next week's lottery numbers will be... Hang on. I'm getting them. There'll be five numbers... And potentially two bonus numbers. And from what I'm getting, hang on. Yep, they're... My guides are telling me the numbers are going to be between 1 and 49. Times 6. Times 6. There you go. Have that one on me. Half the tree says... Um... At Supernova Wolf, I sub to you because you're a nice person. Oh, then I give you a nice warm fuzzy feeling. Not like when you've like wet yourself, but like nice. Okay, let's have a quick look. Uh, Din RTM says Ryzen 5 3600 MSI B450 Gaming Plus. What is the best GPU for me? Um. Somewhere around the 1070, 2060, 5700 mark, I would say, ideally. Um, you can, obviously, you can put a 2080 Ti in there if you wanted to. Bang for buck wise, uh, depending on what budget on. If you're on a really, <coughs> excuse me, if you're on a really low budget, uh, RX 580, don't think so. I think you just have to click on the Facebook thing on the left, wouldn't it? Oh dear. Yeah, you would have to because it needs your Facebook account to do it, doesn't it? It needs access to it. <sighs> anyway, moving on. Ubuntu Dread says they are much uh, blingier, B550, but uh, knocking on the head, uh, but knocking OC on the head for cheap. Groups, is that supposed to be? <laughs> oh, cheap skates. Sorry. It's a weird thing as well, because overclocking, especially with AMD systems, is generally is quite difficult to do. Unless you're very good or you've got some exotic cooling, normally precision boost overclock is pretty much what you're going to get. You might be able to get an all-core boost of maybe a little bit above that, but generally it's not as easy as it used to be. For the, the second generation was a little bit easier. The first generation was like... Amazing, you could get the Ryzen 7 1700 from like 3000 up to like 3.6, 3.7 on all cores relatively easily. Ready? I think so. Drum roll. I can't be bothered with a drum roll, just hit the button. Right, we're doing a draw, we're doing a draw, we're doing a draw, doing a draw. The numbers are going to come out, and the first winner is. Uh, you better take a screenshot of that, or take a picture on your phone and post it on the Discord in the winner oh, section. Yeah. The first winner is the one, the only, Noah Ramos. So, Noah Ramos, thank you very much for taking part in our little uh, quizette. Catherine, our lovely assistant here, will be messaging you on the uh, Facebook thing a little bit later and asking you what version of Windows you want and all that kind of stuff, your country, so we can get the right currency and all that. And you'll be, get, you'll be getting sent a key code or license code to go on to premiumcdkeys.com and get your key for absolutely no monies. So Noah, well done. Let's hear it for Noah Ramos, everybody. Yeah, see, Calf's getting involved. <laughs> Charles UK says, congrats, Noah. That's very kind. Okay. Ayush Sirvastana, sorry if I've completely mullered your name. R5 2600 down a Strix 1070, still good enough combo? Hell yeah. There's still some, still some maneuver for uh, 
some maneuver for room there or room for maneuver even I said all the right words just not necessarily in the right order Matthew Day's my oddest overclock my Atom N450 DDR2 from CL5 to CL4 the 800 RAM was CL5 at 800 CL, uh, then it went to CL4 at 553 no setting for 667 so I reprogrammed the SPD happy days that is awesome yeah Aletta does some crazy overclocks if anybody wants overclocking advice hit a letter up with the uh, information. I cannot message Noah. Can you message us? Right, um, Noah. Hello, Noah. No, wrong camera. Hello, Noah. <laughs> Can you message us, please? Because Kath is uh, struggling it's, it's to. Grayed out message. Yeah, we're not. For some reason, we can't contact you, so it's grayed out for messaging. Everyone else is okay, and it'll come up with a Discord thing, but ignore yeah. that. Yeah, if it comes up with a Discord thing or whatever, ignore it. It's fine. We will get back to you. Yes, we will. We will get back to you, Kath will. She's the secretary. Just like Rachel says, any idea what PSU to put with a Ryzen 5 1400 GTX 780 and that kind of thing? I was thinking 550, but I don't know about modular and semi. It depends how much you want to spend. It really does. And also, what is about on the market at the moment? There isn't a lot out there. Uh, there's an Aero Core integrator, which a certain YouTube friend of ours. Uh, is going to be doing a video on very shortly, so it might be worth checking out that. Uh, that's going to be a 600 watt model, which is in a, a reasonably good price band considering the uh, whole COVID thing going on, so maybe worth a look at that. <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? You're all saying clapping and congratulations. That's why you guys out there, all of you that part of the Mike's Unboxing big family, I just think you're amazing. I genuinely do. You're all brilliant. It's such a nice group of people, community. It is amazing, isn't it, Calf? Genuinely is. Yeah. I see some of these other, yeah, our Discord is brilliant. The people on there are so kind, so nice, so easy going. Uh, and then you. We, yeah, we rip each other and give each other a stick and take the mickey a little bit, but it's all done in such a light-hearted and good-natured way. And there's none of that kind of internet snobbery that goes on. It's just really cool and chilled. And you guys in the chat are all exactly like that, so it is, it's brilliant, it genuinely is. You are all part of a very special thing. At least I think it is, anyway. So we're doing another one in a minute anyway, aren't we? Yeah, we're doing, that. We're, we're doing another uh, giveaway very shortly. Matthew Day says, didn't help the old Atom much, but if the, uh, 24, 2004 update is better on RAM management, then it will be a guinea pig. Yeah, do it. No one before me says, wishing you and the missus the best from Ottawa, Ontario. Another Canadian. We get quite a few Canadians on. It's, I like, I like Canadia. And how do Bristol people find us? How do Bristol people find? Yeah, how do people who live in Bristol, UK, how do you actually find this channel? Is it like, you do you type in Bristolian idiot or <laughs> something like that? I don't know how it works. You but seem to have a lot of Bristol. A lot of Bristolian people seem to be getting in touch and saying, or at least people in the local area, like the southwest, oh, like Hereford and places like that, like Gloucester. They're like, oh, where are you from, mate? You sound, you sound like you're local. I kind of am. Oh yeah, good point. Kev's just said, warning though, if you do join the Discord, uh, there's been some very NSFW pictures of myself and Kev today on the Discord, so. Um, What's the yeah. NSFW mean? If, if, not safe for work. So if you're into um, DILFs and MILFs, then it's probably gonna be right. And inflatables. <laughs> and inflatables, it's gonna be right up your street. <laughs> Hawkins Dog says, got a scoop if, um, I'm needed. Be safe and good luck in the competition. You'll still be in for the competition, so we'll keep on running it. If we do, if you do win, you'll uh, be notified. So it's all good. As long as we can contact you, but look it, check back. Yeah, us. make sure you make sure you can be uh, contacted on Facebook. Otherwise, it could be a problem. 
<laughs> Steve Johnson says they type in Moroccan YouTuber. That would work. Uh, Half the T says, have you heard of Bee Swarm Simulator? No, I haven't. Why? Is that a thing? Or am I being trolled now? Dave Burns says, I want to say skinny dip in. Yeah, that's what... That was uh, pretty much what we were doing in our back garden, because we are... But not skinny. We're not skinny. <laughs> not, uh, not, not during... Obese dipping. Yeah, we're like obesity dipping. <laughs> Steve Johnson said Mike had his moves out. I did. I did. <laughs> it is, it's terrible. This whole uh, coronavirus thing and the lockdown and lack of exercise and just sat around waiting for something to happen or for the world to start spinning again has not been helpful to the old uh, waistline. It really hasn't. <laughs> okay, right, let's do another quick uh, draw. We all right, let's do another quick draw, Calf? Yeah. Calf doesn't do anything quick, but we'll, just... we'll try. We'll try. Give me a chance to have a swig. So if you haven't already put your name in the hat. A few more in this pot. Well, we haven't even got a hat, but. I don't know. I don't know. Right. I've got to look in every time. Captain Me's Adventures has a theory. Well, he's not. He's mentioning there's a, um, a CT, which we're not allowed to exactly say those words, because if you say those words again, you get demonetized or whatever. But the human malware was created on the super yacht on the instructions of Prince Philip and created by Dominic Cummings and Greta. The bastards. Wow. Aidan Ryan says, how do you enter? Um, there's a link. Look for Calf Churchill in the thing. Chat. No, it's, it's, I was doing it on your account. All right. Oh, Dan, I'll do it now. Calf's um, putting a link in now. She's clicking as fast as she can. And she has, or is currently using, the M55 Pro RGB from Corsair. So just goes to show that even if you have got <coughs> a fantastic mouse, if you're useless, you're still going to be useless. <laughs> no, no, no offence. Dave Burns says, Mike, how many draws are there? I don't know. Until I run out of money. Which won't be long. Mamda733 says, hi, I'm from Egypt. Cool. Egypt is amazing. Calf's always had kind of a bit of a thing for Egypt. Yeah. And I definitely want to go, but... I'm really scared of going inside the pyramids and the really tight things. I know Egypt isn't all about pyramids. That's a very much a kind of stereotypical thing. I do apologize for my stereotypicalness. But when you think of Egypt, that is the thing that kind of you think of. It's like when you think of Florida, you think of Kissimmee and like um, Disney World and all that kind of stuff. It's one of those things that's associated. But Egypt does look like an absolutely lovely place. Kind of want to go there. Want to go there. Definitely want to go there. Oh, Dave Burns, no, it won't be a murder, it's fine. Dave Burns says, uh, murder? <laughs> Will this be the first murder on YouTube? No, I, I've actually murdered a few streams be before. It's, it's been a thing. No, it's because you called me useless. Yeah, I know. But we've been there before. Uh, the prices for components in Canada are absolutely crazy expensive. Everyone Entered. Everything's expensive at the moment. It's just insane. Was it Aiden who wanted to know how to enter? Jared Van Herden. I probably murdered that name completely, but anyway. It says, Ampere is coming. Woo! -hoo. Hopefully. Let's hope so. Aiden Ryan 458 says, There, just entered. Hope I win. Well, it's good luck. Hopefully you do. Peter Sora says, I'm here just to leave a like, keep up the great work. I'm having the same Carlsberg right now. We salute What's you, that Peter. Oh. That was a salute. I thought you did dab in a bit wrong. <laughs> it's been a long day. Right. Got a sunstroke. Did, yeah, did. hit the button, Calf. There's no double wins. If Noah wins, he's going around again. Yeah, no. What does that say? What are you Is that T L E R? No, S-T-E-D. No, the, the surname, I can see that. B-U-T. B-U-T. 
So the winner of the next Windows key, or goods to the equivalent value, whatever that means, uh, Mr. Stephen Butler. So Stephen Butler, if you're in the stream, you got yourself a key. Kath will be in touch with you very shortly via the medium of Facebook, as they say up north. And uh, yeah, congratulations. Mark MC says, Egypt sounds nice. I'm stuck in sunny Belfast. It has been amazing. The weather here in the UK. Uh, I think they said on the news that this has been the driest May on record since they started doing meteorological records. That was a big word. I'm about to sit down. <laughs> British Noob says, why is it never me? This is a scam. You have a thing against me. Um, I don't and you can't prove it. And it's not allowed. Stephen Butler's in the chat. He says, woohoo, thanks, Mike. Don't forget to thank Kath as well, because she'll get upset. What should I put for let us know what you want? <laughs> yeah. Uh, whether it's home or pro or whatever. So, Stephen Butler, you will be getting a message come through on Facebook very shortly from Catherine. I think she's typing it now. And if you can hear her to type in, that is because she is using the new Microsoft Soft Touch membrane based keyboard, the Microsoft 600. With right? working feet. With working flippy up feet, which is nice. Which doesn't. Actually, British Noob, have you actually even entered? Is he entered? Is his name yeah, in there? He's oh, yeah. He's he's okay. Win again. <laughs> okay. A letter says the UK is dry because Ohio is getting all of the rain. Oh, we could do with some rain. We really genuinely could. I Just a little bit to top up the swimming pool. I think um, Noob's wishing it on himself. He needs like power of attraction. Yeah, that yeah, that's true. <laughs> What's it? It's not power of attraction. It's not the power. Of, it's the power of rejection. <laughs> British Noob is using the power of rejection to not get a license key. What's it called? I don't know. Just negativity. Sucks. <laughs> Steve Johnson says the MS keyboard, another price increase following your review. Yeah, I know it. I did notice that. It was um, when I reviewed it and when I bought it, it was £8.50 or £8.49 with free postage. And then, literally, by the time I kind of released the video, within hours, it was up to £9, then £10, I think it went up to. And I think it's gone up even further, hasn't it? What's that, sorry? The Microsoft keyboard on Amazon, I think it went up again. Oh, it hasn't. Yeah. That's, I don't know what it is. It cannot be because of popularity. Surely it can't be. Although it, it is. Although, Illuminati confirmed, like Aletta's cats and dogs, sat in a triangle with the all-seeing eye in the middle. The, um, do you think that there is an algorithm on Amazon that if there, it gets enough clicks on a certain product, that it automatically does a price hack? I don't think it would. It was always... It's possible that that is a thing, and they've got some sort of super bots which think, right, this product, no one's looked at this for days, so let's reduce the price a little bit. Maybe that is a thing. I don't know. What do you think? Conspiracy theory? Yes or no? Is it a thing? I don't know. Gary says that Chicago had the wettest May on record. Holy crap. That's not good. Uh, name 89 says enjoying the banter Mike keep it up I do try to and I'm taking pills when I can uh, <laughs> Supernova Wolf uh, if you want rain it's forecast for rain on Wednesday awesome ideally I would like rain on Tuesday and Wednesday that would be perfect but not actually no rain would be better on Wednesday than a cooler day on Tuesday why for the, you, for the YouTube filming schedule, because obviously oh, yeah. it's too nice, I don't want to do anything. Yeah. Just beach well outside, don't you? Yeah. Beach well. I'm just I am like a beach well outside, is horrendous. On the phone to Greenpeace. Dave Burns says, the British noob says, if he doesn't win a key, he's going to give false info on to everyone on Discord. He does that anyway. Telling people that the best way to fix their program is to press Alt F4. 
Don't try it. Trent, uh, Trent Shorter says, I got the SteelSeries Apex 3 keyboard today. I'm loving it already. That's good to hear. Ben Shield says, I need to upgrade the RAM in the near distant future. How does that work? That's an oxymoron. Near distant. That's too distinct. That's opposing. Every single pair of hands. I'm going to rewrite that. In, I'm going to paraphrase. I need to upgrade the RAM in the near future. I'm using 8 gig kit Corsair at the minute. My system is in Ryzen 5 2600 with ASRock B450 Gaming ITX slash AC. What should I get? Um, I wouldn't get anything over DDR4 3200 because you won't see any benefits past 3200 anyway. And also you'll get some cheaper pricing. Personally, um, I'm really, really pleased with the V color stuff. Silicon power stuff is not as bright and not as jazzy and not as RGB ified but is super, super stable. I'm not saying the V color isn't, but the silicon power does seem to be very reliable. So it's a, it's a tough call. There's lots and lots of price differences and going on. I did see on UK Hot Deals, if you're in the UK, go to UK Hot Deals. It's always worth keeping an eye on their stuff there. Just subscribe to it. Go on the electric section. You'll get notifications when stuff comes out. I think there was Vulcan RGB RAM this week which was DDR3200 for about £72, £73 possibly. And that was pretty good. At least I thought it was good anyway. But again, depends what it is you want. Paul Bakewell says, and the webcam went up as well. Oh, not that as well. Well, that's it. Conspiracy confirmed. Um, I don't even know. Someone just asked me a question. I don't even know the answer to it. I don't even read it. Let I them... love super tiny dogs, if that helps. I love super tiny dogs, says Kath. And super neighbourhood. Clinton Davis says, hi, Mike and Kath. Kath's waving. Uh, Steve Johnson says, supply and demand. Yeah, that definitely comes into it. Damas. Domas. Is that right? Damas Mark. Thanks, Mike and Kath, for making me smile and laugh at this nice Saturday evening. Ah, oh, awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Someone's got it. Jack's FO says 100%. Yeah, that is. Dave Burns says, Watson. I can't even read that word. What? Algorithm. Algorithm. Oh, algorithm. Yeah, but you say it funny, that's back. It's like Shrek. I'm like Shrek? What? No, algorithm. Algorithm. Well, like Shrek, L layers. I've got feelings. <laughs> Ogre Hytem. Is that what has come up? Oh, I can't speak. I'm Bristolian. It's, it's built in. It's a good job there are subtitles, although they go very wrong. It's quite funny to watch your videos with subtitles. Rich Winrow says, the items on my wish list go up and down a fair bit. Backwards supply demand, just the creature says. Jack's FO says, free key, you're welcome. Don't understand that, but still. <laughs> Aletta's got loads of dogs and they weigh lots of pounds. I've always thought, liked the idea of having a dog, but then I don't like the idea of looking after it. Why just oh, Stephen. lazy? Oh, Ricardo says, um, how about the temps in the Acer with Arctic MX4 now? Now that is a very, very good thing because the fans are hardly kicking in at all, and it is super hot in here. It's like, uh oh, calf's twerking. Sorry, noob. It's your fault. It's noob's fault. Thank you, British noob, for your super chat of two pounds. Can you say calculator again? Calculator. That's calculator. What does Carol Vorderman not need to use? A calculator. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I just saw someone ask a funny question there and I don't know where it's going to go back up because I've just clicked on the wrong thing. I've got a cough. Bear me a second. I haven't even got a mute button, have I? <coughs> Corona, definitely. Uh, Brabant's 
says, good evening, Sir Mike. Sir Mike of Mikeness, if you don't mind. Big dogs. Uh, yeah, the temps. Actually, I haven't seen the temps. Let's have a quick look. I'll look at the temps just to answer Ricardo's question because I should answer it. Uh, what do I want? Hardware monitor. Hardware monitor. God, sometimes I am such a dipstick. Most of the time, to be fair. Okay, currently, what are we looking at? So, considering we're live streaming, that ain't bad. The ambient temperature in the room is like a million. So, if you take that into consideration also, we are currently uh, running about 58 degrees. Which, for a laptop, under load with <laughs> quite a, a modest processor. So, each of the eight threads currently are right about the sort of 50 to 60 percent mark. So we're running OBS, stream, and also the chat as well, and a few other bits and pieces in the background, but nothing too uh, extravagant. 57 degrees, so yeah, doing well. And I haven't noticed a fan kick in at all. It is spinning, I can hear it spinning, but it's not been ramping up, which it is like, how hot is it in here, Calf? It's bloody hot. I'm going to stabilize the room temperature. Well, even in the drawer, where it's like cool, it's 25.5 degrees C, which you may or may not be able to see. I don't know. Possibly you can. Panasonic autofocus isn't the best. Let's be completely honest. But yeah, that's, uh, that's not bad. So it's roughly about 30 degrees over the ambient temperature. Is that right? 57, roughly about 27 in here, I would say it's going to stabilize, stabilize too. So, yeah, not too bad. Not too shabby. But best of all, it's quiet, which is the most important thing. Gary says the uh, the 600 keyboard is dearer now. Wow. <laughs> British Noob says, I can just confirm I don't give bad info. I only give the best, like Intel and Apple is the best and AMD is bad. You've just given me five pounds just to say AMD is bad, haven't you? Let's take the rest of the text or the message out of the equation here. You have literally just given me five pounds to say that AMD is bad. And me being somewhat of a YouTube whore, I'm quite happy to do that. So keep it going. <laughs> um, can you tell Stephen that you can just reply to his face? Oh, he's done it. Okay. Uh, Stephen's done it's it. Done. It's okay. We can go back to that. Wow, when the, uh, when the yeah. lights come back on, my head is so brown. Does my head look like a conker? For those of you that don't live in the UK or trees where you have, what's, what's it? It's an oak tree? No. Where do conkers come from? I don't know. Conker trees. Conker trees. <laughs> help. <Okay>. Help. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. What does a conker tree come from? I'm sure it's, a, is it an oak? No, it can't be an oak. That's acorns. Wow, I'm stupid. Conkers. <laughs> Gross. Oh dear. Ricardo says, very good temps for a laptop. Yeah, it's not bad. Horse chestnut. Horse chestnut, that's the one. I was thinking of horse chestnut for some reason, but I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to look stupider than I am. <laughs> Steve Darby says, get a dog. It's the best £200 I spent. Get that, a dog. That seems expensive, £200, because... I want a dog. That's a lot of money. You're not having a dog. All the neighbours have got dogs now. I don't care. Get rid of the cats, you can have a dog. Don't There's progress that. for you. I only want a little dog. Tadaman? Tadaman. Tadaman. Mine is exactly the same mic after your MX4 tip. Awesome. More chicken egg brown in your head. Chicken egg brown. Wow. That is hurtful. Thanks for getting new for the money. Yeah. <laughs> Ricardo, Intel fan here. Trent says chestnut tree. See, we should just listen to the viewers because they know what's going on. It's like... You know your head is like a chicken egg. It's, oh, do they? Chicken... Captain Meat said that. Yeah. I liked him. I did like Captain Meat until he said that. It's better than saying you look like it's ham colours. Could be worse. It's not... It's kind of like... He's an expert with... It's almost like the same colour as like roast beef after it's been cooked and then left yeah, to dry in the fridge Captain for a meat. bit. Which meat would it best describe <laughs> the colour? <laughs> We're getting off topic here. Okay, so for those of you that don't have 
the, um, the face of books and you are un unable to answer or to enter the competition, here's a quick one. This is gonna be a really simple one and it's just one I've just popped into my head thanks to uh, Click Tech Kev. So the first person to tell me what the video is or the first video that we released on the channel, you get a Windows key. There you go. You better keep an eye on it, Kev, because I don't know who's gonna be first. Who's that, sorry, saying again? Whoever says the name correctly of the first video we've released on YouTube, get one. We'll get the key. Dave Burns, two pounds. Says, say the British love loves anime. Okay, I think that's done. The British noob loves anime because he's into that cartoony stuff. Just that creature says, Mike, can you dye your hair for a stream? What, what hair? How can I do it? I can't dye skin. I did always want I could to spray, spray paint it. Dirty time. I could spray my back. Not so good though. <laughs> so it looks like. Um, Captain Meese Vinch has the same brain as David Dickinson's skin and the sun can't reach. Anyway. You're breaking things. It's fault. So half the tree uh, said DeWalt. Uh, it says DeWalt drill. <laughs> Jarrah says first video. Okay. Um, I'll, t I'll take that from half the tree. He did say DeWalt and he did get him first. He didn't really say the full thing, but that'll do. I'll go with that. And actually, saying that, Half the Tree and um, Supernova Wolf of both... Supernova Wolf actually copy and pasted the entire thing, so he actually went to look at the video. So I think Half the Tree and Supernova Wolf, I think... What do you think? Do you think they should both get a key? Yeah, but how are we going to get their details safely? Yeah, um, yeah that is going to be awkward. That's we'll have to find out some way of getting your details safely. So Half the Tree... I don't know how you're going to do it. We're going to have to work something out. Calf, write it down so I don't forget. There you go. I'm confused. <laughs> British Noob says, don't start, Dave, you, you salty AMD user. Is this the third one from Dave now? I don't know. I'm getting confused what's going on now. And Dave says, the British Noob loves AMD. This could go on for a long time. <laughs> uh, Half the Tree says, you can message me on my Instagram. My Discord, a oh, Flint four six two whatever. I'm gonna have to look this back up later. I get it. Well, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We can do it that way. Supernova Wolf says I posted a message. Okay, yeah, we get the idea. We'll we'll work it out. If we don't work it out, let us know and we'll uh, we'll try and fix things up. Oh yeah, Supernova Wolf says you can direct message me in here. You can, Kath. You can right click on their name and send them a message from the actual stream. Mine. You do it on yours then. I'll try it. And now it just says I can uh, report them or remove them. Yeah. <laughs> or put the user in timeout. <laughs> we'll sort we'll sort something out. Stick a comment on the video, actual in the comment section, and then we'll tell you from there. Stephen Butler says, Hi Mike and Calf. I uh, just want to say thanks for the entertaining stream, but I really need to get some sleep. No worries, Stephen, and hopefully you enjoy your Windows license key. Xbox Gamer says, just use your affiliated discount code at CD Keys for a Windows 10 license for Pro, and it only cost me £4.51. That's amazing. Does it expire if I doesn't, don't use it straight away? Not that I'm aware of, no. I've actually had a few codes, which um, actually Skystalker donated a code to us a long time ago, and I'm not sure that, I don't think we used that. For about a year. Yeah, maybe a year or so until we gave it away to somebody. You going out? What do you want? Uh, I need to actually see if that is, what's the temperature now? So temperature now on the laptop for those that are interested are, is 56 degrees. So it's dropping down a little bit and the ambient room temperature is 25.5. So we'll, yeah, it's 30 degrees over ambient, which actually for a laptop ain't bad. Yeah. Oh, the, it, it seems to do that after the fifth or sixth super chat for some reason. So I have to get involved. <laughs> Turn that bad boy off. <laughs> British Noob says, Dave wishes he had my mighty Intel CPU. <laughs> you crazy kids. Oh, I'm on the wrong button. Wrong button, chat. I can't do 
Uh, half the tr half the tree says congrats Supernova on winning the code. Um, yeah, congrats to everyone who's won a code. Supernova, we can do through Facebook, can't we? Uh, yeah, we can. Because he commented, didn't he? Yes, Did he? I think he might have done. Yeah. Can you can you say his name on Facebook? Just do his first name to start with. Yeah, say your comment. first name on Facebook or something. Steve Darby says, I moved over from Intel 20 years to AMD, and it's like, wow, it's amazing. I know, I'm reading two comments because it moved <laughs> uh, to AMD, and it's like having a new wife, brackets, learning curve. Uh, Xbox Gamer says, okay, thanks. If it did expire, it's not a great loss. £4.51 is flipping amazing. Why do people cr pay crazy money? I know, it's insane. I still... I've got to think carefully what I say on this next part. I, like most of you, I'm getting pissed off with this RGB thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, like most of you, watch YouTube videos. We do, that's what we do. Whether it's for research or for entertainment or just a past time, whatever it may be, we do it. And I get really, really upset with YouTube videos where they're flogging Windows CD keys and they're doing it for some crazy, crazy amount of money. And basically most CD keys on the market are all relatively similar. There are slight different ones with which don't work very well, but premium CD key, now this isn't sponsored by premium CD keys at all. We are affiliates of theirs, so if you do buy a key, we get a small kickback and it's, Let's face it, it's going to be a small kickback because they're like five pounds or less than five pounds for a license. So it's not like I'm going to be buying a new Lotus or Ferrari on this. I'm doing it purely because I think the message needs to be get out there. Why would you spend like $20 or $15 or whatever on a Windows license key? Why would you do it? You wouldn't. And the, like the office keys I see are like $50, $40 for an office key. Are you insane? Do you have money that you can blow? Are you the British noob? No, you're not. You're careful with your money. So why not use premiumcdkeys.com, get a key, save a ton of money, use the money you've saved to buy something for your PC or your other half or just have a beer. It makes sense, it really does. Right, I'm gonna get epilepsy, so I'm gonna turn this off. <laughs> and Cav's getting tired, she's gonna sit on the cat now. But do you know what I mean? It's, it seems insane to do it. British Noob and Dave are having a, uh, a, a war here. Can Supernova <laughs> just can say his first name on Facebook so I see if I can find his comment? Yeah, Supernova, can you say your first name, your Christian name, please, so Kaf can find your comment? Our oh, voice is going to upset me. Walk Around Review says B450 Tom Hawk was still legend and why? Now, this one is a really, really easy one. Oh, God. <laughs> Who's that now? <laughs> Tilting, by the way, what is an Ogar AVM? <laughs> it's the thing I try and say. He just wants you to say the normal one. Algorithm. Algorithm. <laughs> it's like Al Gore, the American thing, and rhythm. Al Gore, rhythm. Algorithm. <laughs> there you go. I phonetically laid out algorithm and used a American vice president or whatever he was as a uh, means of doing so. I've done well tonight. I really have done well. Calculator. Calculator. Freebie. Freebie? Freebie calculator. Maybe we should do that. Get a Mike's unboxing calculator made up for special viewers. For noob. Yeah, noob is special. And he loves you saying it. <laughs> you could have a talking calculator. Talking calculator, like Simon says, or speaking spell, like E.T. My, my. Anyway, I'm getting off the topic. Right, god damn it, I'm gonna turn this thing off. <laughs> um, B450 Tom Hawk or Still Legend? Still Legend looks nicer, and it's got addressable RGB. If that is important to you, get it. If you want to overclock to crazy heights, get the B450 Tom Hawk. It has better VRMs. It doesn't have addressable RGB, so you're stuck with old fashioned, horrible 12 volt, plain old RGB, but if you just want to go for a static color build, like monochrome or black and white, although technically you can't do white in RGB, but that's another story. 
they both have their uh, limitations, but they both also have their positive points. Personally, I actually probably would go with the Steel Legend, if I'm completely honest, purely because I don't overclock. It will handle what I want to do quite easily, and it's cheaper. Generally, it's going to be about £20 cheaper here in the UK. And Sky Stalker is coming with $6.99, and the British Noob's coming with another £5. Wow, you guys are so kind, and genuinely, I know we joke and we have a laugh and that, but we do actually seriously find it, it's quite quite emotional, it really is emotional, that you guys want to help support the channel, bless you. And if you keep on going, you'll have paid for all these license keys anyway, so <laughs> happy days, I'll keep on giving away more. I'm joking, that's not good. Oh, um, Kath, are you reading these comments? This is broken. I'm going to have to turn it off. Hey, Google, turn off plug one. Yeah. All right, turning the plug one off. And tell, tell Sky it worked while the stream was dead. Yes, Sky Stalker, your uh, Super Chat donation actually worked whilst we weren't live streaming or anything. I was in here. Kath was in here videos. watching videos, and all of a sudden it just kicked off and started doing it, and Kath was like, what's going on? Is it the end of the world? Is the sky rock, is the space shuttle exploded again? She didn't say that, but she was quite, uh, quite bemused by the whole thing. Dave Burns says, I'm only donating to give Mike epilepsy from the light. Stay away from the light. British Noob says, David, don't be so mean. I've answered that one. <laughs> British Noob says, by the way, AMD bad. And Dave Burns says, no one asked you to butt in, Sky. <laughs> AMD the win, enough said, says Sky Stalker. This is, uh, yeah. Rich Wimrow, I've just seen your comment. Does getting a CD key only get rid of the watermark or does it unlock everything? Um, probably a dumb question, but I'm new to PC. It's not a dumb question because it is a question that uh, people are generally asking. Uh, getting a Windows license key makes your product activated so you can get the latest updates. You can also use things like OneDrive, which you generally won't be able to do, or you won't be able to sign in with a Microsoft account. Some versions of Windows, depending on how you've installed it, you won't be able to change your background desktop and have personalization. And basically, it's keeping things legit. I like to keep things legit. I've spent many, many years as a young lad when I didn't know any better, and also there wasn't the facility back then of getting really, really good uh, prices on your Windows keys, I would literally go to the shops and buy a, a copy of the OEM Windows Vista, this is how long ago it was, and I'd spend like £80, £90 on it. I'd install it and stick my license key on the side, and like, yeah, I've done a good thing. But it's a lot of money. Buying a genuine retail product or OEM product with a license key in the box and DVD and all that kind of stuff is an expensive hobby, no matter how you look at it. So. To pick up a license key for less than a, like a couple of coffees seems like a, the thing to do. Some people, <coughs> excuse me, frown upon it and say, well, it's not a proper license. Well, I type it in, Windows activates, I don't get hassled. So as far as I'm concerned, Microsoft are happy, I'm happy. It works for me. And we've got more soup. A letter says, no RGB is best. This is true. This is some people like RGB, some people don't. I genuinely enjoy it. I gotta be honest with you, as you can tell by the RGB. Well actually and someone said, what is the use of the PC behind me, or is it just an expensive disco ball? Yes. <laughs> it is all of those things. It was originally the streaming PC, but then it went a bit crazy and started crashing in streams. So I lost confidence with it and I found using the laptop was actually easier. So now generally, if I'm rendering a video or doing something important on the video editing PC and I want to play some games or something, or I need to do some, um, some work on there to capture footage that, in, uh, that involves a Windows reboot and I have to use my capture card. So I'll plug my capture card into this PC and then I'll stream the footage from that into my video editing PC, which just keeps things separate. I don't really want to keep on installing stuff on my main video editing PC because it's a pain. <laughs> like the RGB light. 
Um, so yeah, that is what it's for. Basically, that PC is for testing software. <laughs> <laughs> testing software and basically creating videos. So between the two PCs there for creating videos, this is for streaming. So I'm trying to keep things separated so that I don't have to pile loads of software and programs on one machine or the other. Hopefully that explains and you're still here. I did see that comment ages ago. Okay. British Noob says, uh, Cap, get Mike to help with the OnlyFans issue, please. What is that? I don't know where we are. I don't I'm know where I am. To find. I'm still trying to find anything. <laughs> Hopefully that's answered it. I'm still trying to find Super Wolf, Supernova Wolf's <laughs> username, he says, but where is that username from? Flint. No, I've done the Flint one. Oh, okay. Don't have the tree, a Supernova Wolf. I don't know. I can't find him on Discord. I can't find that name on Facebook. <sighs> oh, dear. Or was that Instagram? <laughs> right. Who we had super chats from? Because I'm losing the thing here. Uh, <laughs> Sky Stalkers thirteen ninety nine says AMD for the win. I've said, and British Noob says Sky Stop donating your rupees. Xbox Gamer at the British Noob is a legend. Such a generous guy. And just the creator says it's Canadian dollars, Noob. Yeah, we affectionately call Canadian dollars rupees because of their a somewhat lesser value than the dollar and the pound whereas you rupees they were like considerably up higher it's a an endearment thing Kath, can you turn the light back on I'm sorry <clears throat> yes thank you Sky and Noob and Dave and anyone else I've missed Supernova best can you confirm what picture he has on his um yeah Ben Shield says, what's your... Oh, actually, I'll say, Kath, what do you want me to say? What is his profile picture on Instagram? What is your profile picture on Instagram to... Yes. What name? Supernova. Supernova. What is your thing? It's just a three-letter word. Matthew Day says, RGB is for testing Mike's patience. <laughs> that plug is... I don't know why it does that. It seems to work okay, then it just starts going f stupid. Anyway, never mind. Uh, yeah, Ben Shield says, Mike, what's your um, day job? My day job is kind of YouTube to some extent. It's, um, yeah, making YouTube videos is pretty much my day job. I've been lucky enough through the years. I've had various jobs and they've kind of led me into like a weird kind of, I've, yeah, I've been kind of pushed and guided into what I do now. So YouTube essentially is my primary job. I do have also a part-time job as well, which I I really miss. When I'm doing the computer stuff, I miss the other stuff as well that I used to do as well, which is I used to be quite engrossed in cars and valeting, detailing, all that kind of stuff. And I like to tinker with cars and that sort of stuff. So in my day job, I also get involved with cars, um, fitting, spray paints, advice, all that kind of stuff. So kind of I do a car thing a couple of days a week, and I also do uh, the YouTube well, seven days a week, really. <laughs> oh, <it's... laughs> Why did I buy a disco ball? Why can't I bought something else? <laughs> so hopefully that answers your question. Uh, Custom Adventurous is in the house. It says, what's up? What is up, Custom Adventurous? Custom Adventurous has got a channel on YouTube also. There's... Uh, a lot of reviews of AirPods and AirPods and kind of Bluetooth devices and all that kind of gear. Definitely worth checking out. And uh, yeah, how's your uh, how has your spike been during this coronavirus thing? Can you turn the light on, please? Oh, I'll keep doing that. Uh, hopefully, your your channel has done pretty well during this uh, lockdown. Everyone's trying to find out more information about AirPods. Okay, Supernova Wolf has put the information on there, so we might have to remove that after. <laughs> yes, moving on. Lee says, rather than RGB, you could customize your base unit with wallpaper. <laughs> Not a bad idea. British Name says, can I win the giveaway now? Yes, you can. <laughs> we will send you a license key. 
There you go, British Noob wins license key by default. Oh, I didn't, um, I didn't know that. Oh, Calf's getting confused. Doesn't take a lot. British Noob says Calf, turn it back off. We might find Mike dead before the stream ends. Or me. Mike won't say what his night job is. My night job is uh, basically trying to make YouTube videos. I try. Actually, it's a weird thing because because of what we do, mm. it's actually quite difficult to do videos during the day because of stuff going on, interruption, the doorbell going, deliveries, etc., etc. So normally during the day is kind of like the research time and kind of preparation, and then when it gets dark, it's also cooler in the room as well, so it's nice to film in. So normally we make the videos at night. So my day is the reverse of most people. So most people get up in the morning, go to work, do a job, get home, then relax, and then do the same thing the next day. Whereas I generally get up, do some kind of research work, then wait till the end of the day, then spend the last kind of four or five hours making videos and editing them and uploading them, ready for them to be released for 6 a.m. the next morning in the United States. Which is kind of crazy. But that is what we do. So that is my night job, trying to uh, stay awake long enough to make a video. <laughs> okay. Someone else just said there, uh, Paul Bakewell says, I just got myself a Windows 10 Pro key via the link here. Um, I have paid more for a beer. I know, it's crazy, right? It is insane. Supernova Wolf says, you should change the disco ball to a speaker that plays Rick Roll every time someone donates. Oh, that would get tiring, wouldn't it? And also, I'd probably get a copyright strike. Matthew Day says, reprogram the IFTTT script. I think I might. Uh, Booty Aaron says, Mike, is it my eyes or have you been tangoed? I have been slightly tangoed. The camera does lie a little bit as well. Actually, saying that, the colours do look actually quite good at the moment. I would say, actually, the way I've got the camera set up at the moment, the colours are probably the most accurate they've been in a long time. I did have my saturation set a little bit too high, so I looked a little bit darker, I think. But, yeah, it looks about right. That, to me, looks... On the screen, this is an IPS panel on this laptop, so it is pretty good representation. It does look good. Dave Burns, don't worry. I did say that British New would get a key. I didn't say what type of key. <laughs> yes, I have been uh, I have been tangoed for sure. Steve Johnson a actually answers the question very easily. Uh, what do you, what is your night job? Currently, it is drinking beer and chatting rubbish. Lee133 says, the night job joke went right over Mike's head. It did a little bit, I think, possibly. Although it may be trying to lead me down to a, uh, a particularly alleyway, which I do not want to go down with the noob. Xbox Gamer says, you have a great streaming channel, very entertaining, you deserve one million subbers. Oh, that'd be good to have a million subs, I think. Although, it's not really about subs. It's about the engagement and the commu the, commu uh, the community. That's easy for me to say. Because I see channels which are bigger, smaller, whatever. And they all get to the same point where they're kind of like, oh, God, it's hard work. But actually, like, this Saturday night stream is a blessing. It genuinely is. Getting to speak to you guys, having to answer questions which normally it would be hard work to answer. <laughs> Calf's just sent Noob the key, I think. Um, it's, it's really good. It's really good fun. It's enjoyable. And very much like our Discord chat. So it's kind of, I dip in there every now and then. I don't, I'm not in there as active as I should be, I guess. But saying that, most of you have your own uh, stuff to get on with and do. So it just carries on amongst itself. So I, I get in, see what's been going on throughout the hours. Because it's a very much a global thing. So... There's some people that are on through the morning, some people through the afternoon, through the night, etc. It just keeps on rolling around, so it's a really nice little community. A global community, which is awesome. And that's something in this kind of day and age is something we all really, really need. 
Yes, I'm getting off track. <laughs> oh God. The British name says, at Calf Churchill, how much for a t-shirt for Erin? Where does Erin live? That's the important bit. That's how much That's going. all he cares about. What, postage? Yeah. That postage is important because that all goes on to my stats at the end of the month when I do my tax return. Uh, near him, I think. Just that creator says, how do they get the chi the keys so cheap though? Well, actually, they make money on it. Simple as that. They don't. They're not doing it for fun. They are a business at the end of the day. Microsoft will sell uh, bulk sets of keys to OEMs and system builders and other kind of third-party areas, even to um, resellers as well. They will have a direct channel to resellers. So, in the more emerging markets, in kind of like your places like India and things like that, they will sell bulk keys to sellers just to get people to buy a license. Because every license means another user on board the, the Microsoft gravy train at some point, or as the numbers. And essentially Microsoft is kind of run by shareholders, so if the users look good and everyone's got legal licenses, the shareholders all get a... Oh, well done, well done. So they know that they're going to make money somewhere along the line from you buying another Windows key at some point, or buying Office 365, whatever the case may be. So they'd much rather sell you a cheap license key than you run a unlicensed or a KMS version, which in this day and age, there's no reason really why you should be using KMS software or activation hacks on your Windows. It just isn't worth it. If need be, run it unactivated, but for the price of like a, a beer or coffee or whatever, just buy a license key, it's easier. Don't use a KMS, KMS are horrendous. But yeah, they basically they, they mass, they have bulks of these keys and I don't think I could go to a shop now and buy an OEM license for like 70, 80 quid. It, it would kill me, genuinely. There's no need to. There really isn't. So it's, it's awesome. I love it. Hello, nice t-shirt. Who's that? George's. Hi. Got his new t-shirt on. Nice. Oh, BMW. Uh, Walk Around Review says, what do you think of the Ryzen 5 1600F? I think it's fantastic. And I wish there was more of them available on the market. Supernova Wolf says, oh right, copyright. I got a claim for copyright by Barbie a couple of days ago. Don't ask. Okay. Captain Me, oh my gosh. Captain Me's Adventures, Mike, we are no strangers to motherboard. You know the RAM, so do it. A full so build. Rolling you. you know, oh yeah. Go on, sing it. <laughs> oh, I can't because I'm trying to read it and get the <laughs> thing. Ainge, yeah. could you rip roll this song to dad? No. <laughs> right, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> the more I'm reading it, it just cracks me up. I don't even think I could do it, but I might give it a go. Tr oh. Trumpets, I want to do the I want to do the Rick voice as well, and I don't know if I'll get absolutely hammered on that. Oh, just do it. Just no, do it. I can't. Another beer. Yeah, get me another beer. Get another beer. I'll have to go back. You might have to copy and paste that back in later. <sighs> yeah, Supernova Wolf says uh, yeah, it's basically a twenty six hundred. That's the six hundred AF, pretty much. Steve Johnson says, too many subs, too many chats, much less personal. Yeah, it definitely is. Xbox Gamer says, if you had one million subs, you'd make one million people happy. I, th I do, I love it every day. We release a video and normally they get relatively good views depending on what the video is. Uh, some of the ones recently have had done really, really well. But you always, even if you've done what I would consider uh, an okay job on a review, I haven't said anything negative, I haven't said anything overly positive, I haven't been kind of evangelical or whatever, and I've kind of tried to be as kind of straight down the line, honest, and give my own personal opinion. But still, somehow, there's always that one person, or maybe more than one person, who comes along and sticks a dislike on the video. And you get to a point where there's certain people that you kind of got a hint that they do it on most of your videos anyway, just because they do. But it's always quite nice to see it, so I kind of work out in my head now to see how quickly they get to see the video. 
So I, I look at the numbers and then I kind of look at the time scale of when I get the dislike and they relatively happen at the same time. So I think it's the same person doing it on all the videos. I'd love to know for sure who it is. Yeah. You, you can't find out. And they do it to Caps videos as well, which is bad because Caps videos, there's nothing to dislike about them. There genuinely isn't. They're basically problem, an electronic catalogue for Lidl. <laughs> what is there to dislike? It's like, oh, I didn't like today's <laughs> Italian selection. Well, it, Get over yourself. It may be just the fact they don't like what Lidl's doing, but I'm not yeah. sure. <laughs> I'm going to be singing that Rickroll thing in my head all night. That's oh, alright, I've got it here ready to post on Discord, but I'll leave it for a bit. So it doesn't get It's going over my head now. Damn. Uh, Booty says, What is the difference between an OEM key and a retail key? Uh, Dave Burns answers that quite magnificently. One's OEM and the other is retail. Life of Texan House, and he says, Mike, how you doing? Life of tech, life of tech, tech of life. <laughs> don't, know where that, don't know where that come from. That is your new, actually saying that, there's, um, I've been having a discussion with somebody that I kind of uh, work with and he keeps on trying to get me to buy his shop and I don't want to buy it because I don't want to get into retail, but I love bikes, bicycles. I love tinkering with bicycles, doing the gears, doing the brakes. Brake blocks, tires, tubes, changing it, all that kind of stuff. Uh, cassettes, hubs, spindles, you name it. I love doing all that stuff. I really genuinely do. Which is why on a lot of the videos, if you look closely, you can see I've got oil, dirt, crap in my nails and in my skin. That's because I work. I do actually oily work. I'm not one of these pen pushers who just sits in front of a computer all day. I do actually do manual work. So I get grubby hands. It's the thing. You used to be a pen pusher. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. So, we keep on joking that because cycling's taken off massively, it's uh, because of what's been going on. Get exercise, get a bicycle. Um, we get loads and loads of bicycle repairs in at the shop. And I love doing them. So, every time we get a new bike in for a repair, it's like, oh, here we go. Down in cycles. Or someone comes in, have you got a really springy seat? All those kinds of questions. It's basically, we have become down in cycles. And that is the name, Dang Then Cycles, I think. And I keep on seeing a jingle in my head now. It's like, Dang Then Cycles, the best thing about cycling. <laughs> That's our radio jingle. That's going to be a thing. And I dreamed that in my head. Kath is you pissing herself. Have kept that in your head. I should have kept it in my head, okay. okay. But that is what Dang Then Cycles, the best thing about cycling. That's great. Don't you think that's amazing? It's not going to happen, but. I think. In my dream, it did. I think you should vet more before drinking. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> to go back to your question, OEM license versus retail license. So an OEM license is uh, given to by an OEM manufacturer and the license key for an OEM generally is tied to the specific hardware that the PC is built with. A retail license generally is more attached to your username or your Windows profile. So if you are joeblogs at outlook.com and you register a computer with that license key, you can then deactivate the key, reinstall the, that same license key on another computer, you should be able to reinstall it. That is the theory. It doesn't always work as simple as that. Sometimes you have to go through the Microsoft automated helpline. Hi, this is Microsoft's automated helpline. If you need help with this, press the hash key. We will read you a series of numbers, five digit codes, blah, 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 blah. Please input them and have your PC nearby. It's that kind of crap. The next key is, and it goes through, it's, but yeah, it's crap, but it happens. So the difference being OEM license technically is for one set of hardware and one set of hardware only. A retail key generally can be reused on multiple hardware, but that doesn't always work either. But ideally, you should go for a, uh, a retail key, if at all possible. So it's Lee133 from Bristol as well. I don't know. I've got to read stuff now. Ninja47's in the house. I haven't seen Ninja47 for ages. Sorry I've joined late, but I just wanted to say hi. Ninja, we've missed you. Where have you been? Uh, 
Uh, I've missed something, I think, somewhere. I've missed loads of stuff. No, I've gone. I've gone. Lee133 says, apparently dislikes still help with the oligorhythm. <laughs> they, well, actually, they do. A dislike, I mean, the way that YouTube works is really, really weird. Nobody really knows for sure. I don't really mean you to explain it. I know, but I'm going to explain it anyway. The way it works is engagement is what YouTube is all about. So the things that matter the most are minutes. You can tell what matters the most because you go into a YouTube studio, watch time minutes is the, is the top one. Then it's got um, watch time or subscriber. I don't know what it is. Basically, there's a list of things, but the top one is always minutes. And if you look for anything specific on YouTube, the highest up the chart is normally what YouTube is looking for. So minutes is the thing. So even if someone clicks dislike, but watches the whole damn video, that's amazing. If they dislike and they've only watched a certain segment of it, is great because they've actually got their mouse and they've moved it and they've clicked on a dislike. So it's a form of engagement. So it means that the person that's disliked it has actually watched the video and had strong enough views on it to actually click on dislike, which actually helps the YouTube algorithm because by disliking that particular type of content, they look at what the content is and then they potentially won't offer up that type of content again to try not to piss off the viewer. So a dislike is actually super helpful because you may not get to see our video again, but YouTube can tailor their content to you. So it's all part of that engagement. So keep the dislikes coming, it's all good. Kath's got her hand up, she needs to ask I a question or she needs a wee. I do need a wee, but can you access your emails on there? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Why? Matthew Bennett sent you a nice email. Matthew Bennett sent a nice email. I can possibly see that from somewhere else. Oh, hang on. If you want a uh, if you want a PC, if you want Outlook on your PC, okay. Office and all that kind of stuff, premiumcdkeys.com, the cheapest place to get an Office suite, and it doesn't run out after a year. Uh, which was it? Mike's unboxing. Matthew Bennett. Awesome. Matthew Bennett, I will get back in contact with you. That is very, very nice of you. Um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's actually a good point as well. Um, Taranaman, I probably not said that right again. Um, retail keys get Microsoft supports, OEMs don't. No, OEM licenses, you will need to go back to your OEM supplier. So whether that's like PC World, Novatech, Dell, whatever. You'd have to see them for support. Microsoft Keys, you do get as part of the Microsoft Key, you do get, I believe it's two free calls to Microsoft technical support. I don't think it's unlimited, I think it's just two calls. But then realistically, if you're phoning Microsoft for technical support, you're in a whole shitload of trouble. You'd be much better off going to our Discord. Matthew Day says, is this gonna turn into a two hour beer stream? I think it already has. Supernova Wolf says, Matthew Day, not for me. I'm just chilling with a Capri Sun. Oh, I love a Capri Sun. You used to free, what's the little ones, the little triangle ones? Calypsos. Yeah. Frozen Calypsos. You meant to freeze them, aren't you? And they had, you could drink them, couldn't you? You had a straw of them, yeah. Because they had the little piercy bit. Oh, I know you are. Calypsos, amazing. Get some, put them on the shopping list, Calf. Let's get some Calypsos in the house. Love a Calypso. Captain Meat's done another song for you now. <laughs> Ninja47 says my friend bought a i7 9700 RTX 2070 PC was that a wise move considering there's Ryzen better than ever and Intel 10th gen yeah buying an i7 9700 at the moment is probably not a great idea unless you got a super good price on it Uh, Kenneth Dyke says, Mike, hey Mike, have you, hey Mike, hey Mike, hey Mike, there's an echo in this room. <laughs> yeah, Ricardo says the key is associated with the Microsoft account, that is true. Uh, 
Uh, Supernova Wolf, yeah, we'll get back to you on that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hey Mike, have you heard of a monitor called the HP22X? It's a 22 inch 144 hertz monitor. I don't think I have. Dave Burns right. Uh, can I get a refund so I can go and buy a key for Office 365? Um, no, Office 365 is the yearly one and you don't really want that. That is just a complete rip off. I, I went down that route myself for a while, spending I think it's £60 a year for the 365 one and then at the end of the year it's like, can I have another £60 please? Um, well no, not really. I don't really want to spend another £60 because if I've got to do that every year and I keep Windows 10 for five years, that's like 300 quid. Just to use Outlook. Mad. <clears throat> anyway, not too sure. Let's see what's going on here. I'm confused now. Matthew Day says, LibreOffice is the cheapest place to get an office suite. Now that is very true. Now for actually fact, you can actually get Microsoft Office for free. As part of Windows 10 now, if you click on the Office, you can actually use the online version, which is completely free of charge and has very few restrictions. But as a if you're if you're in a business or you're sending emails to and from a business, you definitely need Excel support, 100%, because they're going to send you spreadsheets that are going to be in Excel. And the amount of times I've used LibreOffice and I've tried to open either a presentation, because a lot of companies will send you presentations in PowerPoint, because it's the de facto thing. So they'll send you like product specs, or if you're maybe a shop, they'll send you the latest product offers and all the displays, or maybe stuff that you can print out to use as point of sale. It's going to be in Microsoft PowerPoint, or it's going to be in Excel. And if you haven't got that, there's always a chance that LibreOffice or any of those others are going to open it and it's not going to look great, or it's going to be the formatting is going to be off. It does happen. Some documents you can be absolutely fine with and it'll open. But when you're a business, you just don't want to do that. It's a pain in the backside. Personally, you know me, I'm a cheapskate and I would love to set, I would love to save every single penny that I can. But when it comes to using Microsoft Office and Outlook, there isn't anything on the market better and I'm quite happy to pay like, I have to have a look on what their price is at the moment, but on premiumcdkeys.com, I'm pretty sure, wait a minute, premiumcdkeys.com, currently their office 2020 or 2019, where are we? Office Professional Plus 2019, wow, that is insane. In a moment, it's 10 euros and 50 cents. That is mental. And seriously, if, if you use email a lot, Outlook is brilliant, it really is. And if you've got more than one email account, even better. But for 10, 10 euros, which is what? Uh, less, it's like nine pounds, or nine pounds 50. For 10 pounds to get Microsoft Professional, so that's Outlook, Publisher, Excel, Word, um, what else is there? OneNote, never use that. Uh, Access, Skype, PowerPoint, did I say that already? Basically, it's all those things for less than £10. That's it, mad, absolute madness. Anyway, you know what to do. Technically, that's Windows 10 only, but if you're using anything else than Windows 10, then I wouldn't worry about it too much. But yeah, if you want to get one, premiumcdkeys.com, you actually can get money off that as well. You can get it cheaper. So if you use the discount code Mike's Unboxing, you get 7.5% off of that price as well, which is not a lot, but hey, every little helps. <laughs> British, no. British noob is put in two pounds and says, word, west side. No, he's just like laughing because you're... What is word, Mike? It's like Microsoft Word. Word. 
I can't say it, I'm bloody Bristolian. So is that broken? No. No, it's just not working. <laughs> That's different from broken. Broken means not, never going to work again. This is another thing. There we go. I can't believe I've got to do it by hand. Three, two, one, and you're back in the room. Look at that for timing. Synced. <laughs> Clinton Davis says, I've just noticed that premium CD keys are selling Windows 8.1 licenses. Who on earth would use this now? Now, that is a very clever thing because you can use the Windows 8.1 license key to activate 10. You can also use the Windows 7 one as well. So if it's cheaper, you potentially could save money, but you have to do the upgrade version, I think, that way around, which is a bit odd. But anyway. <laughs> oh, dear. Captain Meese Adventures, you little beauty. Word. Oh, where's that gone? I was reading that. Captain Me's Adventures, you're insane, but in a good way. Ricardo says, I'd rather spend 10 or $15 for an office key. Hell yes. It's really good. I, um, like I said, I'm a tight SOB. I really am. I don't like spending money unless I got to, but... Even because I've got one, two, three, four machines in this room, each one of them's got their own, well, apart from this one, this one hasn't got Office on yet. I don't think it has, anyway. I should have actually looked for that. Office. No, I haven't got it on here. Uh, Word. No, I've got WordPad. Ooh. Um, has it got a calculator? Has it got a calculator? Here, mate. Here, mate. Mate, mate, you got a calculator. Mate. Oh, mate. Sorry. Charles, bless you. Thank you for joining us on tonight's stream. I hope you've had uh, a moderately entertaining evening, or at least you've uh, not wanted to take your own life. I don't know. <laughs> Cap's giving me that look. I hate it when she gives me the look. Yeah, hopefully it hasn't been too depressing. It's been enjoyable. That's what I'm trying to say. Badly. Alessa says, I'm too popular, I get about one email per year from Google saying happy birthday. Even my spam box is always empty. Oh, mate, I would love to... Oh, I've said it again. That's a pretty thing. Hey, me. I would love to not get spam. Spam. I've got so many spam filters set up on my Outlook account. It's ridiculous. And my Google account as well. I've got it set up in various places. So if it doesn't catch it in one place, it'll catch it in another. So what actually... What account? Google. Gmail. Is that what I said? Am I saying things funny? If I had a stroke and don't know it? Who'd <laughs> be like Jesus? Am I minging? <laughs> um. <laughs> Charles UK says, good night folks and congrats to all that won. Dave Burns says, word. Dave Burns says, can we get a how-to on how to ignore the British noob? <laughs> oh, I'm, not, I'm laughing, but I'm, I'm sad. Sad inside. Laughing at it. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad right now. Oh, oh, bless him. Now, British noob's cool. Cool AF. You didn't say hello to Erin. Did I not say hello to Erin? Erin, hi. That's it, I'm done. Okay. Yeah, we would like to see Adobe cheap licenses. Uh, uh, oh, Christ, yeah. If, for some weird reason, that Adobe started doing cheap licenses, I would be all over it like a rash. I I think my Adobe Premiere Pro... No, my Adobe Creative Cloud Suite subscription, Christ, that's hard, uh, is up in October or September, maybe August. Or maybe another month this in the year. Some 
it's, it's, it's out this year, basically. Quite a high chance of having burr on the end. Last year, it cost me £360, give or take, didn't it? Which made me feel sick for a couple of days. But I told you missing the equivalent of a pound meal. Yeah, that's like a pound meal every day. Missing out Christmas and a couple of important birthdays, but state days, obviously. But it's a lot of money. And then this year, that was the discount. This year, they reckon it's going to be about 650 So I'm thinking, holy crap. You get rid of that and have a Iceland special meal every day. That's a two pound ready meal every day for a year. Or Adobe Premiere. I don't use the rest of the suite. You lot have seen my thumbnails. Obviously, I don't use Photoshop. In any of the other stuff that they have, like, um, what's the other one? Adobe Dreamweaver. Haven't used that, Can you sing that? for about <laughs> no, <laughs> for about three or four years. Dave Burns says I paid fifteen hundred pounds for Photoshop back in CS3. It's ridiculously expensive. Adobe, yeah, David Aiken says Adobe have us all by the um, various forms of round circular objects. They certainly do. It's insane. It's loads and loads of money, and it isn't actually that reliable. It's buggy as hell. I've got the wrong Dave, I think. <coughs> I scratched this. It's the wrong one on Discord. Have I? Or have oh. I done that? No, I haven't done that. Cast broken things. I do not know that. Okay, right. Let's do one more, one more giveaway on the old uh, roulette wheel of generate. How many have we done so far, Calf? Have you lost count? Five. If you're no, one, two, three, four, five, six. If you're just counting Dave. But Dave, where's Dave Burns? Where do we get hold of him? Dave Burns? I don't know. I was thinking Dave Burns, has he won one? I, you said he had. Did I? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to re- I've done the I'm going to have to go. Dave on there, mate. <laughs> Calf, you have one job. One job. But five times. Six, it's the same job times. though. It's the same job, just six. multiple times. Six times, she's saying. Six times. Look, I'm about to do it six times. <laughs> Feel sorry for me, people. Feel sorry for me. <laughs> this is what I've got to work with. Oh dear. Right, we're all sort of this mess out at some point. But anyway, to make this mess even worse, let's do another one. Yeah, sorry. Do another one. Okay. I'm... Is everyone entered? <laughs> right. Is everybody entered? Anybody who wants to be in to win another Windows license key, please make sure you've commented on the Facebook page. It is very, very important because I'm if you've charge. done it. Because right. Ka Cass in charge of this particular part of the uh, programming for tonight's episode. <clears throat> so please, um, yeah. <laughs> A letter's using the uh, the free copy of CS6, which I found online for free. There is that is a good point actually. There is a free version of um, Photoshop from Adobe's website, which you can get, which might help some people to save some money. Dave Burns is really taking the piss out of me now. Yeah, Dave Burns is on there. It's okay, I can find him. Okay. But I've done it to the wrong. I've done it to Dave Aitken. On there. Bear with us, calves. I'm bearing with Dave Aitkins now because he's entering. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. As long as you've all done it. So, this is your last chance. I'm gonna, after this, we're going to call it a day. Uh, Talanuman says Mike, can you do some monitor reviews, please? Especially 30 inch plus gaming. Want to upgrade 30 inch plus? And to be honest with you, I've got the AOC, the I can't even remember the model number, but it's the 3279WF, I think it is. IPS, free sync, less than 200 quid. Really nice, 1440p. Nice monitor. Good mo I've had it for about a year or so now. It's great. Worth, worth buying, definitely. Right, okay. Right, are we sure? We're definitely good to go. I think so. Is, everyone right. is everybody entered? Mark MC says, Caps in charge. She is a wonderful woman. 
Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, 100%. That's you guys. Bear with us, cooler. Logan Gardner says, I used to run GIMP on Windows 2000 at work. Great little program. Do you know what? I've, I've installed GIMP about five to ten times on various PCs. I've never used it. I've never even worked out how to use it. I really should spend some more time. Uh, Tandaman says, can you link it, please? If you have a look on the... Um, on our channel, go to the homepage of our channel. It's in the video description. No, no, it's something okay. else, Kath. Ignore me. Just type in AOC. <laughs> There's a 3279, I think, is the part number. But just type in AOC. It should come up. It is a great monitor, actually. It is really genuinely good. The only thing that lets it down is it doesn't have a, uh, a mount. A VESA mount. If it, if it had a VESA mount, it would be perfect. S Goatee says H, which probably means hi. Come on, me ready? Okay, hang on. Captain Meese Adventure says, Mike, can you say I like rascal clackers proper Bristol styly? What the hell are rascal clackers? I like rascal clackers. But no, you say it really Bristolian. Well, you can't really say that Bristolian. I don't think it's got much Bristolian in it. I like rascal clackers. <laughs> well, that's as close to Bristolian as I can get with that one because it doesn't have the Bristolian things in it. The things necessary to make it go like eh or um or uh or er. Uh, right, babber! It's not got any of that stuff in it. I can't do it. Right. <laughs> David Egan says, I think the doobie have us by the rascal clackers. <laughs> yes, they do. Right, we're doing the thing, the thing, the, the, casting the draw. What does that say? <laughs> if I press on my eye there, it focuses better. Let's try it at home, everybody. It's really good. Um, what the hell does that say? Shall I read it? Yeah. Dino, Dino Clark. Dino Clark. Whoever Dino Clark is, stand up and make yourself recognised. Dino Clark is the winner of another licence thing. So congratulations to Dino Clark. All of this stuff, like if you're if you're a winner, and I'm gonna, f I'll, by the time I've had a few more of these, I'm gonna forget everything. Generally, everything's gonna be gone. I've missed one. Yeah. So if you go to our Discord channel, the winners is actually you don't have to join the channel. You can just look at it. The winners list will be in the prize giveaway section. So if you're not sure if you've won or not, you can have a look in there. It's there. But feel free to uh, stick around and. Mike's Unboxing Pirate Channel. Who are? Today we'll be unboxing Logitech webcams. Who are? LUC better. Should I put on here first winner and second winner? Because that's the only ones we've done on random comments. Yep. The other ones were like given away on the thing. Yep. So do I put like first winner, second winner? Do I put seventh winner? I don't know. We'll, we'll work that out later, I think. Captain Meets Adventure says, we are all winners as there are clackers in the world. There are some serious clackers in the world, unfortunately. There really, really is. Okay, I think that is, are we, are we pretty much done? So. I'm not too sure. How many things, how many license keys have we given away now? Seven. Are you sure? Right, we've got Supernova. Um. New. Um, supernova. No, Supernova. Can I Supernova? That's where I've gone wrong. Um, <laughs> Tandem Man says, Mike, that's an old video. You look like 10 years old. It was only about two years ago. I've just aged really badly. He's had to deal with me. I have had to put up with Calf, Angel, George, Michael, Ian. Neil, a lot of people I've got to put up with. Right, okay, so we've super new, got Supernova, one, Noah Ramos ran first. Yes. <clears throat> Stephen Butler won second. 
Okay. Dean you Clark won six. And then you gave away one to Supernova. Half the tree. Half the tree. Sorry about this pausing viewer things. Dave. <laughs> I can see Caps cogs moving in her head. Oh god, yeah, my brain. Should we do it after the stream? Yeah. That's gonna be you just no asked fair. Me. I, can't do it. I didn't. You did. You did said I? I'm maybe giving away until said. Oh. You could have guessed. Just give me an approximation, that'd be fine. <laughs> okay, so S Goaty says if you're looking for something to review, the knob sound is worth a look. Knob sound doesn't sound like a particularly, like a thing that I might want to review. Knob sound. That definitely doesn't sound good. That sounds like something you'd get on like Pornhub or something. In the ASMR section. <laughs> Maybe I'll take a look. I don't want to type in knob sound into Google. That's going to bring up all kinds of stuff that I don't necessarily want to see. And probably should be shielded from. Okay, I think that is uh, that is pretty much going to wrap things up. Ladies and gentlemen, and those who are unsure, thank you very much for joining us tonight on this uh, Windows license key giveaway extravaganza, which Kath, I think, has managed to mess up royally. But we'll sort it out. Sorted, <laughs> I got it sorted. She's happy. You saw it? Yeah. Happy? Yeah. We all good? Yeah. Fantastic. So we've got Supernova. Don't read them out. Dave, Don't. Noah. That's not. Stephen. Dave. Dino. Okay, read them out anyway. <laughs> oh dear. I think that's about right. If it's wrong, we'll rectify it. If it's right, we'll probably be Knob okay. Knobsound is a real company and they do flanges. Did what? I'm not reading that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for bearing with us on this uh, stream. I think the weather's got to me. The beer is probably getting to me. And uh, yeah, it's probably time to call it a night. So thank you all very much. For those of you that donated to Super Chats and all that kind of stuff, thank you all very much. If you want to help the channel out in any way, shape or form, you can do via our Patreon page. And if you do join, you get £10 membership, or $10 membership rather, gets you a free mice unboxing t-shirt so you can represent with pride or use it to clean the car. I don't know, whatever you want to do with it. It's all up to you. It's your t-shirt. Anyway, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews in the How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next live stream. Thanks for watching. Eventually. Night, everybody. Say bye, Calf. Bye.